Um, so what I was saying before, hello, Phil. Hello, Polly. Glad you're here. I think you, everyone is going to really enjoy what we're cooking tonight. We're exactly what's cooking tonight. Um, let's see. Ribeye all day, son. Yes. <laughs> all, day, all on day. There we Even go. Even more bling, juicier steak. I love it. Yes, you can already see it. We already know. All right. Yes. Uh, Phil says can't stay long, but he sent 100 stars. Yes, Hello, thank you, Phil. Phil. Um, That's into the Z fam. And also, I just noticed myself, said it before, but uh, Zach's tip jar is now our little martini glass. Very fancy. Yeah, don't forget. Love that. Malibu was here to, as well. Uh, everyone, welcome to the fourth edition of Vogue. Happy Friday. Come here, baby. Um, we are going to do a little battle of the steaks. I had a hard time figuring out what we wanted to do here. And, uh, well, you know what? Brian Creeper with the light. What's up, Brian? Uh, so we're going to do a couple different things tonight. We're going to do two different um, steaks. We're going to do the uh, the ribeye and the New York strip. Both boneless. Typically, I like bone in. Uh, but for today's stream, we're going to do boneless. We're going to do a really nice smoked paprika fingerling potatoes, which is going to be really good. Yes. And then we're going to do a little bit of green beans just to make it well-rounded and some veggies. Uh, what do we have on the side here? We have a bunch of different herbs because Val's going to make uh, a Colombian-style chimichurri. I will, she will help me make it. Yes. Uh, and we got a lot of different seasonings. So. Um, Brian says, I'm assuming the martini glass is currently chilled. Yes, it you is, better of course. know it. Yeah, that is absolutely correct. Um, Before we start, does everyone in the chat, does it, because I know John already said it, who wants to suggest which one do they prefer here? Which, um, which steak does everyone prefer? And if everyone can do it, make sure you guys pop a share. I'm going to do so myself. Um, Sorry, what did you say you have here? What, what kind of cuts? I, I missed that. Sorry. This is uh, ribeye. Yes. And this is New York Strip. Mm. Yes. Excited. Brandon Williams, what's good, Mr. Rose and Miss Val? What's up, everybody? All right, so uh, I want to try and keep this to uh, 45 minutes to a half hour, just to keep everyone entertained. So uh, the first things we're going to have to do is get the potatoes in the oven. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut these potatoes a little bit. I'll do it over the, this right here. Uh, in addition, we're going to boil our green beans maybe three quarters of the way, and then we're going to finish them on the pan. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is turn our stove on. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get it away. Put a little salt, put a little olive oil. How's everybody doing this Friday night? Paul says already in with the ribeye. Rib Everyone's in with the ribeye. Rib anyone like New York strip here? Anybody at all? New York strip? Anyone? No one. Brian, what do you? What is? What is your preference? Brendan, keep it rolling as long as possible. Need to learn how to cook more than what I know. This well, is the place to be. This is this is here. We're here for you, here, friend. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, don't mind me. I'm just going to share my own stream if that's okay. <laughs> and uh, we're we'll gonna do go, that as well. We're going to get underway here. So you guys haven't done so yet. We're going to share. It. I'm going to share it everywhere. Let's see. Uh, what should I say? What's the catch do? King Chef of Verdance. Brian says Rick. Uh, cap with a New York strip blend. Wow, oh, Brian, you are like quite that. fancy, sir. Quite fancy. So I'm actually a little bummed because I actually went to the store and got some wine for us, uh, but it came without the seal. So what do you suggest? I mean, Paul, what would you do? Would you not open it and return it? Do you think it's safe to open and drink? I'm just a little torn. Because I wanted to enjoy this with the steak, but... Yes, that is true. Uh, Brendan says, pretty good, man. Just got off work. A long 12-hour day at work. Had a few brews feeling good. That sounds heavenly. <laughs> uh, Val, I mean, if anyone had any suggestions on how to open that, that top, let them know. If you want to show them on the camera what you're dealing with, that'd be fine. Yeah, but I asked, I was like, I don't know if I should, re like, return, if it's safe to, like, open. I don't know. I don't is know. it weird that it I don't think doesn't so. have the... All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all... You gotta wash your hands, and we are gonna be underway. We're gonna start with our potatoes. Connor Oops. says, "Oh, look at the marbling on that steak." There yes, we sir. Go. You know it. What's up, Connor? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to smash that like button. We're trying to get to 50 likes tonight. Can we do it? Connor Bailey, supporter. He is one of the most recent winners of our uh, giveaway from last month, all the way in the UK. Are you serious? That's yes, pretty sir. awesome. Yes, Connor, sir. That's pretty cool. Wait, so do we know when he's getting it or did he get it? He's already it? received it. He's he posted did? it on the Rosenbone site. You go, Connor. All right, man. If you could so step away. So, Paul, 
missed the question. I said, Paul, I went, I just went to get wine, but it's missing the seal. Um, so I'm just, I don't know if I should drink this or just return it. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Do we have any wine sommeliers? And if not, please tag them. <laughs> uh, Brendan says, yes, sir. The old lady is up north, uh, her grandma. So I got the weekend at home alone and tomorrow have Ooh. to fix up a truck because I had a few issues at lunchtime. When your lady comes back, you can maybe make her some steak. And That's some true. Potatoes. That's true. All right, Chad. So I'm going to show you a little bit how I'm cutting these. Billy is in, in here. Um, Billy. Hello, Billy. What's up, Billy? It's been a while, uh, Billy brother. Billy is going <laughs> to heavy rain here. Can't wait to get home. Yay. Uh, Dan Alarm says, ribeye, no question. Grant says, 100 Let's stars. Let's go, yes. um, And then Connor says, thanks again, man. The sound bar was already been, uh, has already been used several times. Great sound quality. Let's go. Awesome. All right, uh, guys. So these fingerly potatoes, I wanted to get a little bit of variety in color just to make it look nice in the plate. You can do this whatever you want. You can roast these whole if you want. I like to cut them up. And uh, if you work with my mom ever, she doesn't like, uh, you know, even edges. So I like to get some funky shapes in there. <laughs> I love that. Um, Paul says it's not a big deal. It's just packaging. Okay. We will start the wine going. Perfect. Um, Brandon says absolutely. Our date night is Sunday. Yes. Let's hey, go. That is awesome. Please also like send us a picture if you guys end up like cooking what we're making yes. during our foodie Fridays. We would love for you to take a picture and tag us. Hashtag it just, Chef it, like, really, I mean, I know it definitely warms my heart to like see you guys trying. Absolutely. Dips. Um, so please, like if you if you do it, please send us a picture. We would love to see it. Um, Billy says gonna have three year old soon, not a two year old anymore. Oh, oh happy I birthday, know. Billy, to your child. Billy, that is so cute. All right, Chad. Are you guys doing anything um, for the birthday? So we're going to cut these bad boys up. In the oven. I have the oven at 400 degrees. It's pretty standard. Uh, that should be good for now. I have more, but we don't need it at the moment. So. Um, oh, Brandon was actually thinking about the tacos for date night. Ooh, the tacos are good, dude. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to help. Obviously, everything is on the stream. Uh, all right, so we got our potatoes in here. I'm going to get a little bowl right from under you. I apologize. All right, so you need a little bowl and a whisk. And so uh, what's cool about this is uh, we kind of, I'm kind of just making this up, but we all know that smokiness and kind of heat and uh, some good flavors go really well. With potatoes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start us off with some olive uh, oil brandon uh simonson says yo 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 <laughs> brandon what's Hi, brandon. up just a little bit of olive oil we want to coat all the potatoes um, how are we doing how are we doing everybody brandon says where do you live Rosen? uh we're in connecticut we're in connecticut uh it's been pretty cold here actually to be honest so um if you guys haven't done so yet, thank you for tuning in. This is my favorite segment of the week, except for Supporter Sundays. And that is a perfect time to come in and say, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys want to become a supporter, please consider that. It's the same value as 500 stars, which is $5. All that comes to me, none of it goes to Facebook. And with that, you get a supporter badge. You get to play in the supporter game on Sundays. And you also get a part of this, uh, a lot of special opportunities. We are thinking about doing maybe a supporter-only cooking stream. Uh, where we can kind of do it together. So like on a Monday or Tuesday, I'd send you guys a list of shopping things and we would come together and supporters only, we could do a little lunch and learn. So I think we just got like a wedding invitation, which is so exciting. I'm sorry? <laughs> Brandon just said, would you be interested in coming to our wedding in Michigan? Oh my God, and what a proposal. I cannot tell you how many times I've brought up to Zach the fact that I really want to go to Michigan. Yes. Um, I've never been. Zach, you've been, right? I've gone dozens of times. Yeah, Zach was actually supposed to go, he had a choice of going to Michigan for school, but yes. the decision was pretty tight. But I've never been, and I really, really want to go. So, I mean, why not, right? Yeah, hey, that's an unbelievable offer. Uh, it depends what it is, but let me get this real quick because I gotta get these potatoes in the oven. So right here, we got some smoked paprika chat. We're just gonna throw this right in the oil, just like that. Junior is in the chat, hola Junior. Junior, what's up, Vamos buddy? A um, eh, carne. <laughs> green green beans y el chimichurri de mi mamá. Entonces, okay, and we're gonna add garlic powder and cumin to this just because Val is a sucker for cumin. I do love cumin. We're gonna add some nice thick salt. 
which is always necessary, and some fresh ground black pepper. Uh, Dan says, good thing he didn't go uh, to school in Michigan. And Dan, Dan Allard. Yeah, we would not have met you guys. Um, good. Gonna be on the beach of Lake Michigan. Brandon, that sounds so wow, much. That sounds we are, awesome. That is so exciting, and actually, that's amazing. <laughs> All right, chat, so we got our nice little olive oil rub here. Look at that. You wanna take a smell? Mm, I love it. You know cumin like gives me Val loves the cumin. feels. I so we're just going to pour this little sauce. You guys can use butter if you want. I like olive oil, and we're just going to pour it right in on the potatoes. We have 12 people in here. Hello. If you haven't said hello, please say hello. Yes. Also, everyone, it's um, absolutely imperative. You guys say, do you guys prefer ribeye or New York strip, or do you not know? That's also an, a probable answer. All right. So, Chad, I'm going to show you on the other cam. Oh, those potatoes are so pretty. Okay. They are so cute. Colorful. So I'm just gonna mix them up here in our little sauce. Again, we have olive oil, salt, pepper. Jamie is here. Hello, fam. Jamie, what Hi, up? Jamie. Girlfriend, we are so excited to see you. Hopefully soon. I know. <laughs> it can't like come any sooner. We're trying hard. Nick Flynn says he loves this. Nick, saw you today. You drove by. Hello, man. What up, so Nick? So much fun. What up, brother? Um, filet for me, says so Jamie. Okay. Filet. All right. Yeah, I prefer steak. Um, says Tyler. And then so Brenda bad. says three days right before her birthday, proposed on the beach, got to have a wedding on the beach, and I like New York Strip medium well. All right. Yeah, sir. We'll uh, talk about that later, but I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping in. Me and Val love this. It's the highlight of our week, pretty Lately, much. Highlight. So much fun. That in the, uh, yeah. And if you guys haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that exclamation point notify. And look at this here, chat. Pretty cool here. Hold on. Uh, oh, you know what? I have it on the wrong screen. It's okay. So, all right, everybody. If you haven't done so yet, type in exclamation point notify. Can you tell, show them how to do it in the chat? Yes, I'm going to do it right now. Is it before or after the exclamation point? I exclamation forgot. point notify. Okay. I'm going to do it myself. And if everyone could follow suit, that would be great. Okay. Our potatoes are in the oven. That is huge. There we go, chat. We know what we're doing. Yes, here. Brendan. Yes. That's awesome. Yes, Show Jamie. them the way. Thank you, Jamie. Um, Paul says, hello, Nick. <laughs> yes, all right, so, I'm putting our- Loving all these reactions, by the way. Yeah, reactions are huge. Them, like... And if you guys didn't see the funny clip from before, the Facebook algorithm is about comments. It's all about comments. Thank you so much for that like, Tyler. Thank you so much, Hannah. Thank you so much, Jamie. Chris, uh, is that Chris Cross in here? Christopher Ross? What up, everybody? Mm -hmm. Did I miss anybody? It's, I'm not on yeah, your account, yeah, so I can't see it. Let me take a look here, chat. Yes. I don't want to miss it, but I feel like yeah, no, there I must be a better way for me to read this comment. I understand. I understand. Um, J uh, Joe um, Horn? I believe. Joe! Someone, someone messed up the, I messed up the, I yeah. pressed the wrong button. We'll see Malibu did it. I pressed the wrong, I can't hear you anymore. How about now, chat? Is that better? Test. Yes. Yes. All right, I we're changed, back. I changed the wrong. <laughs> can you make the screen, I mean, do you want to have that or can we make the screen bigger? Well, do you need to see us? I don't like to see us. <laughs> well, you have your phone right there. I know. I need to see right. who's liking because you can't see that. All right, oh, everybody. look at all these tips. To the martini glass. Let's go. All right. Hello, Hannah. Hannah and I were having 
the most fabulous dude today. Okay, hold on a second. Sorry, I gotta sorry, sorry. Talk sorry. about yes. the food. Go, go, go. Um, all right, everybody. So one of the biggest mistakes people make when they're cooking steak, uh, and I see it all the time, is they take their steak. Do you want to turn that down? Uh, is um, they just take it right out of the fridge and put it right on the stove or the grill, whatever they're going to use, and that's the worst thing you can do. What that does is you're taking a cold steak and you're putting that in a hot environment. And what's going to happen is, as you can imagine, you're going to get the outside cooked really well and the middle's not going to cook properly. So I've had these out for about a half hour. You want them about room temp. They're about room temp, which is great. Um, so what I like to do is I like to take my steak, I like to drizzle a little bit of olive oil, and what that does is, just a little bit, and I'll show you over here. <laughs> so I only want a little bit, and so see how it's kind of glossy here? What I'm doing is, I just want it to stick a little bit with the salt and the pepper that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna put some nice, fresh cracked pepper here. And you wanna be, oh, you wanna be generous with the seasoning, because a lot of it's gonna cook off. And for the steak, I like to get the thick sea salt, and we're gonna just pour it all over. Uh, so we have... And just pat it down so it doesn't move. Yep. We have Brandon. Um, are you going to be on tonight, Mr. Rosen? Yes, sir. Immediately following after this, after we take a couple bites, uh, we have a really nice um, S&P all day, says Jamie. I was going to say sea salt. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Oh, boy. Uh, so I have a really nice transition. I have a really sick, high kill, 20, point, uh, 20 kill game. That's going to be a nice little segue in between both while I, I kind of clean up around here and get ready for the stream. Um... Has anyone seen those insane pistols that are out there? <laughs> anyway, so, all right, we're gonna finish this up here. I'm going to put a little more olive oil, just a tad. Look, look how little uh, olive oil I'm putting on here. Just like that, one little line. Um, Jamie says, never in Vegas, martini on the side, question mark? And then Paul says that our kitchen is backwards. <laughs> well, I not much I can do about that there, Paulie, and no one else has seen it except for you, so. Now everyone knows our kitchen is backwards. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for stopping by. As you know, Rosen Bones is uh, the stream. You guys know it's all Rosen. If you guys haven't done so yet, it would be a huge favor to me if you guys could smash that, um, that follow button if you haven't already. And then also, um, we just broke 200 followers on Instagram. It's at Rosen Bones. That's awesome. So if you guys like clips, you guys like uh, just going through stuff on your feed, Make sure to at Rosenbaum, that'd be huge. Where's Malibu, says Jamie. Brandon says, if you need a fourth, I'll be available. Run straight sweat class with M16 and the FFAR. Sounds good, man. Yeah, for sure. I have no plans for tonight. We're going to have some fun, so we will definitely hook up. If everyone can do me a favor while I'm finishing this uh, other steak, I'm going to do the ribeye now. Um, Brandon's going to get his uh, support badge next week. Yes, let's yeah, go. Right support now. badge. If you guys haven't done so yet, please consider becoming a supporter. It helps the stream. We're going to cook bigger and better stuff. We're going to get better, bigger, and better stuff for the merch. We're going to get bigger and better stuff for the giveaways. It's all for you guys. This is a, this is more like a hobby. It's fun. It's good. Um, <laughs> Brian Horgan says, uh, Rosen's got the meat. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Horgy. <laughs> if everyone could do me a huge favor, they don't have to do it on their main account. I want everyone in here, if they can, at one person that would be interested in this, or just share it to your page, either one, or to a page. That would be a huge help. Corgi, thank you for that like and that share. He's already done it. Welder with the like. Appreciate that, Welder. How we doing? <laughs> uh, for the ribeye choice, of course, 500 stars from from Corgi. Corgi, oh, look at all those nice. badges. He's a star sender. He's a follower. He <laughs> is a supporter. Thank you so much, Ryan Horgan. He is the man. You are the man. Uh, our water is definitely close to boiling. It's not quite there yet. I'm going to finish salt and peppering this. Also, can we just talk about the fact that the pictures of Morgan's baby are oh my God. like the... <laughs> how about the, how about the <laughs> cheese, so the cheese slap in the face? Oh, my God. That was so funny. All right, Jack. That little baby is a QB. Okay, so we're almost done with our steak. Uh, next, what we're going to have to do is... You probably want the potatoes to cook around 30 minutes at 400. And the best way you can test it is just by taking a fork, stabbing it, and it should slide right off when you pull up. If it doesn't slide off, it's not ready. And that trick also works for baked potatoes. FYI. Oh, almost skipped a step there. <laughs> Lots of um, likes and love and cards. Yes, 
we got the reactions coming. Ladies and gents, again, if you guys can tag one person, tag one person in the chat that would love this. Queen Z is in the house. Love the cooking Woo! stream. This is awesome. Queen Let's Z. go, Queen Z. <laughs> I was Hello. watching I was watching you, Zapoleon shred on stream the other day. That was a lot of fun. I'm so happy you guys get to play together. That must Wait, be such they a... play together? They play together. That's so awesome. That's really cool. I'll have to do some serious convincing to get Val on the, <laughs> on the gridiron. I'm just going to be embarrassed if I, I, I'm going to get out Although you do have some video game favorites. Do you want to share some classics? I, I think people are just going to make fun of me. No. And people are going to love it. People love OG games. Well, yes. So I'm definitely on the OG side of the games and, and I'm by no means an expert on uh, video games, but I do like um, Mario, classic for me. Any kind of Mario, love that. Um, and I know Horty would like that. I know we we played a few games at his house. That was fun. Uh, and then I'm... I'm Crash Bandicoot. Like, yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, Crash Val, Bandicoot. Val's a big Crash Bandicoot fan. She loves Mario Kart Racing. You're very competitive with Mario Kart Racing. I do get pretty competitive. That's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> Brandon, what's up? Mario is what's up, says Queen Z. I feel like you guys would get along really well. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Like you guys have a lot of similarities. Uh, Jamie already it says uh, Mario Party LF G. Let's let me go. That would be amazing. All right, chat. So, get, Val, you got to give me a little help here. Oh, Jamie likes Guitar Hero. Yes. Yes. Oh, man, I love Guitar Hero. Ryan says wine pairing. <laughs> Katrina says Crash Bandicoot was the best game ever. Oh, we have it, Katrina. What up, Katrina? Uh, Queen Z with the like, Katrina with the like, Brandon with the like. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. We're having a great time tonight. Um, we seriously the wine is, is Nick Flynn with 50 stars. Thank you, Nick Flynn. I love you, brother. Um, Queen Z says, we seriously would. I feel like we would be best friends. Love your energy. Oh, you know that like makes me like giggle. I've said this that. like for as like, long Giddy, I mean, as I've known Val. That's so cute. If she was born in America, I would say she could run for president and she would win because she literally... <laughs> It makes friends with every single person she meets. It, it's like, yeah, I can't sit next to somebody without being like, no, okay. the entire life. All right, so, so we're going to make, you're going to watch that for me. Yes. So we're going to make Val, uh, there's so many different ways, especially when you're talking about South America, a chimichurri for a steak. Um, I like Val's version a lot, her family's version. So it's not traditional, but it is really good. And it calls for um, shallots, it calls for thyme, it calls for green onion cilantro, and um, salt, pepper, olive oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh oregano uh, and some chives just to put my twist on it. You guys know it, I can't really help myself. <laughs> I, have to, I have to tweak it. Also, can I just show you guys what my mom's recipe looks? So I sent Zach my mom's recipe yeah, yeah, today. So. And I mean, she's just so amazing. But well, before you do that, hold on. Brandon okay. Ruggiero is in the house. What up, Brandon? Thank you for the like. <laughs> Uh, we miss you guys so much. I know I just said that to Jamie, but I, I want to hear uh, say it to you as well. I miss you all day in the chimichurri. Uh, Ron is here. Ron, Ron, we have wine for you today. But we don't know. I don't know anything about it. Val's in charge of it. What's the key you said to all these ingredients? Very finely chopped. Very finely chopped. Chat, is this something you guys want to see or you guys want to let me do this on my own thing? Uh, <laughs> Uh, please message, uh, message me your chimichurri recipe. I will. I will actually send you the picture that my mom sent me. There is no... Are you fluent in Spanish? Uh, in okay. Spanish, but I can give you like the the translation. But what I want to say is just really, really, really cute because my mom will send me these recipes, but there's no um, it's measurements. Just, it's just ingredients. <laughs> so she just like tells me what she usually does. Um, Let's see. Hi, Ron. Kristen is here too. Hello, Kristen. Yo, what up, Kristen? <laughs> he will make it work. Yes, we just kind of work it ourselves too. So just do it by taste. Some people like a little bit more onion. Some people like a little bit more herby um, taste. The one thing I'll say about Val is because I would say before we met, my eyes are watering, um, it wasn't that you weren't adventurous. You just didn't really have a lot of um, exposure to a lot of different foods. Yes, and, and the exposure that I did have was usually like really bad experience. Right, exactly. I'm crying. I'm crying. Um, but it's so funny. Val is, she's so open to trying new things that it, it really makes it so much easier to um, kind of, and surpri she, not surprisingly, but for someone with not a lot of food experience, she has an unbelievable palate. Thank you. Um, whew. All right, so I'm going to check our green beans. We're doing good. Those are, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Ooh, our potatoes are looking good. All right, so I'm going to start making this sauce. Val. I'm just going to put this really close to here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is my mom's 
recipe that she sent me. And I also can post that if it's okay with my mom. I'm sh she's probably watching. Um, so I'll just make sure that it's okay with her. I'm uh, sure it is. She we're going to start with to... half a shallot. Okay. Uh, how much time? I mean, I guess we're just going to play it by ear. How much oil? Can I do the time? I can help you with that. If yeah, sure. Do you, or want, do you to... want me to do this or the time? You, you're great at the cilantro. Okay. You do the cilantro. Uh, this is time, everybody. Does anyone know the cheat, like the way to have it take time off the stem easiest? Does anyone know here? Chef, real chefs don't cry. Ron, that's rude. <laughs> yes, please post it. Does anyone know how to get the, the leaves off a of time stem? What's the easiest way? I would love to hear if anyone actually knows the answer. I feel like Jamie would know this. Yeah. I know right. Jamie would know this. Jamie's also like an amazing cook. Uh, call Einstein says Paul. Dear Brandon says, with your teeth. <laughs> That's incorrect. Thank you so much. Uh, you actually go backwards. So the stems went like this, the leaves went this way. You're going to hold the top and you're going to pull back. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. You don't want the stems in there. If you get a couple, that's okay, but you really don't want the stems. I'm going to take it out. Do I have to chop the leaves up? Um. It's so weird. Is it still doing it? Yeah. Not anymore. I unplugged it. Feedback. All right, we got a finicky mic. That's okay. So again, just to reiterate, you're gonna grab the top of the stems, right, of the thyme leaves, and you're gonna pull down. Boom. Done. Ron, do you want to know what we're drinking today? I think you would appreciate it. Also, Queen Z, I saw that you had that notify. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't done so yet, please type in. Type in exclamation point notify in the chat below whenever I go live. That is food or war zone, depending on your preference. Welder says, well done, guys. Great teamwork following you from Florida. Hi. Welder, hope you're enjoying Florida. I hope Mommy. it's beautiful. Mommy, it's almost the same as chimichurri sujo. That's true. We're making our chimichurri sauce. Uh, Jonathan G. No one to like. What's up, Johnny? Katrina with the exclamation point notify. That is excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, I've asked you guys to do this before. Which steak do you guys prefer, ribeye or New York strip? I know we got a couple ribeyes, we got a couple strips. Queen Z, Logan what are your says thoughts? Logan notify. Hello, Logan. Logie, what up? If Zach was a shallot, what would Val peel him with? <laughs> uh, Sorry. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's appropriate to say on air. Am I dicing this time up? Uh, yeah, as, as thin as you could possibly make it. Okay. It's tiny, tiny. All right, chat. So we're making this Val's famous chimichurri. Nick Flint says ribeye. Good call, Nick. Uh, Queen C says New York Strip is my jam. Yeah. Yes, girl. Uh, Jonathan Gion uh, says great job, bro. New York Strip. All right, uh, all right. I love says, it. Hello, Logan. What up, Logs? Log, what do you prefer, sir? He's in Cali. He is? That's awesome. Um, Pinky, you both are incredible. Much love. Thank you so much, Pinky. This is so much love. Oh my god, 500 stars from the queen herself. Let's go. Let's get a hashtag Queen Z in the chat if we can. We got 14, 16 people in here. Let's make let's show some love to the people that are giving up. Giving up some awesome, awesome, awesome attention, some support. It's all, you know, it's all gravy from here. Alright, so our green beans are probably done. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm checking our, ooh, these potatoes are looking good. It's not done yet, but I'll show you guys. The brews are getting to me, <laughs> says Brandon. There you go, chat. We're gonna, starting to get some nice cooking there. Delicious. Logan, okay, Logan, I love that you said that. What do you say? He said he's not sure what the taste difference is. Sure. So, um, there's a couple different things, and I can show you guys here. So, the New York Strip, I'll do it this way so it's easier. Do you guys see backwards? Yeah. All right, so um, here is the ribeye, OK? 
Okay, and what you're going to see is see all this white. This is the marbling, and so that's the fat marbling in the content. So ribeye traditionally, on where the cut is, it's going to have a lot more fat content, and fat is what creates that flavor. Okay, so if you like a juicier, more um, flavorful cut, you're going to want to go with a ribeye. Okay, a New York strip is going to be a little more tender, a little less fat, as you guys can see, only on the outsides, not much. Um, Again, I highly recommend if you guys get your own steaks to get bone in. Bone in. The bone creates so much flavor and juices. Uh, Jamie says, try color um, potatoes all day. I love the color. I love the color, too. Thank you. Um, usually, it, Trader Joe's has like, the cutest potatoes. And, all right. And the carrots, too. So, we're breaking away from uh, Lily's famous Colombian... Um, Chimichurri, only with a, a tiny bit. I'm not doing anything drastic. I'm adding a little bit of oregano leaves, fresh oregano, ladies and gents. I said this before, I say it every stream. Please, if you're gonna use herbs, use the fresh stuff if you can. It makes such a big difference, not only from a taste, but also an aromatic. It changes the whole experience. Ooh, Welder is, um, says, Mommy and I are uh, enjoying live stream. Uh, don't forget the some recommendations on wine pairing. Ooh. So, um, Love that. I was in charge of getting the wine. Um, not gonna lie, don't know too much about it, but I do trust a local wine store that we go to. Uh, they're super helpful, so nice, and you just tell them what you want, what you're looking for, and they give you a great option. You pick it up curbside. So this is what we have. We have a Chop, chop Shop. Let's see if you can see it from there. Uh, I'm currently, uh, and this is a cap, um, from 2019. Where's it from? It is from California. Ooh, is it from Napa? Um, it doesn't say. I'm sure it says it back here. All right, ladies and gents, so while Val's doing that, just letting you know, I put in our thinly sliced fresh oregano leaves. I'm putting in a little bit of chives. It's supposed to be green onion. I read the Spanish instructions wrong. No shame in that. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna, we're almost done here. So Val, do you want to show the camera over the stove what this is looking like over here? Yes. Also, I mean, the color is just so beautiful. These beans are almost done. So that's that. Um, All right, I'm gonna take this off the stove. We gotta get our steak going. That's what everyone cares about. That's the show, right, chat? You two are adorable, says Ron. Napa, hi Rachel. Yeah, we should, Paul, at Rachel, at Rachel Lenahan. Say habla espanol. Uh, um, un piquito, un piquito. <laughs> Watch out. So, it says a campo uh, California. There you go. Beautiful, as Warren Ramsey would say. Um, so, <laughs> let's see, uh, Jamie says cap with steak, yes. And then Jonathan says, lamb chops are my top choice meat. Wow, lamb chops are so good. All right, here's a question for you, John. Do you like mint jelly or mint jam or none? Oh, Paul, can you tell everybody what you like? <laughs> I know there's like always a discussion about the jelly in your household in terms of... Yes, there meat. is. Um, okay, so we have our chimichurri like Val showed you guys. We want to add some salt. I'm not sure how much. We're just literally making this up as we go along, even though we know these are the ingredients. And then olive oil, correct? Yes. So um, you wouldn't want to be shy with the olive oil because the olive oil is what's going to allow all of the herbs to kind of um, release their flavor. So, and the oil is what's going to taste the best. You want to stir it up a little bit? Yeah. So the oil should taste like what you're putting in there. All right, so just to kind of round it all together, chat, a couple things. One, your meat needs to be room temperature. It's been out, it's been seasoned. We're doing just traditional, right? Olive oil, salt, pepper. We want to taste the steak. We don't want to get away from what we're eating here. Um, Jamie says 40% of Americans have never had lamb. So How do you know that? I want to I mean, see the doc I want to so see the smart. I want to see the information on that. Uh, <laughs> there's more somewhere. Uh, back behind you. Yep. And then uh, Paul says mint jelly from my lower class beginnings question mark mint sauce from my chef wife has uh, brought in my yes. palate. Yes, it has. 
You're absolutely right. All right, so we want the steak to be room temperature. It's seasoned simply, perfectly. We have our roasted fingerling potatoes in the oven with a smoked paprika uh, olive oil sauce. And then finally, we have just finished boiling our uh, green beans. Uh, you could flash that in the pan. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to yet. Um, so we're getting this, you want to get a, a, a pan. So you can use cast iron, you can use a really nice Teflon like I'm using here. The biggest mistake after people that not letting the meat rest is that they just put so much stuff in before the steak is cooked. You don't need to do that. Literally, all you need to do is put a dash of olive oil just to give a little bit of that sizzle effect. And then we're gonna add stuff later. How's the chimichurri? What does it need? I'm thinking. Do you want me to taste it? Um, yeah, sure. Well, no, I just didn't yeah. know if you wanted my... We have 15 people in here. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys haven't done so yet, at a friend, a family member that would be interested in this. If you guys have already done that, thank you so much. If you haven't done so yet, smash that like button. We got Brian coming with the like. I played with Brian the other night. It was fun. How are we doing here? Can I taste it? It's good. Do you want more shallot? I think I'm going to add a little bit more um, thyme and, yeah, shallot. Good idea. Sure, we I got some it. Yeah. I can do that. That's okay. You good? Yep. Um, <laughs> Jamie loves this. Uh, drop a tiny bit of water on the pan to see if it's hot or and ready. Who said that? Uh, Jamie. There you go, Jamie. You know what you're talking Jamie's about. Jamie's like, she is going to drop some they're knowledge total, here. No, they're because, total foodies. Yeah, she's a great cook. Also, like, she'll post the most amazing food. <laughs> it's us just here, just drilling all the time. Or at least I. Let's see. Um, Ron, what are you guys eating tonight? Are we sending some food over? What's the deal? All right, you want to try this? Uh, for, <laughs> for the tenderizer, uh, says Ron. Ron, uh, you have, you definitely have the best, uh, comments. The def best comments for sure. Do we have, should we have like the, what is the office, uh, the Dundee Awards or what is that? We do have the Dundee Awards. All right, ladies is and gents. Uh, you know your um, pan is ready when it's just about smoking, and you should be able to see it. It's smoking a lot. Take it off the heat immediately. Uh, Katrina says, Justin uh, Wenzel would love this. There you go. That's what we're talking about. We're doing an ad here. Can we get a quick roll here to get the chat engaged? Yeah. Is that okay if everyone does that? So everyone, if I'm you do me a favor, do the example. we want to roll a dice, essentially, and what it does is it engages the chat. The Dundee says Katrina, she loves that. <laughs> so everyone type in exclamation point roll space D20. Val's gonna show you, and we're looking for a number 20. If anyone can roll a 20, uh, I don't know, we can uh, we can do something interesting. What it does is it helps engage the chat, and then more people come, and that 12 is gonna turn to 22, which turns into 38, which turns into 4,000. It's crazy, it's exactly how it works. Oh, I got a six. Um, Val got a six. All right, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of oil in here. For this, I'm gonna use canola oil. So you guys can see over here, it's not that much. Okay? It's definitely warm enough. And uh, we're going to spread that oil around. And we're going to... We are going to get this... Who's ready for the sizzle? I'm ready for the sizzle. I'm going to put it up nice and close so you guys can hear it. And this is when Malibu will start kind of huffing and puffing from the other room because she smells delicious food. All right, chat. Let's see if we can get some. See if you can hear that. Oh, I don't really need. What do you need? I'm good. Did you put garlic in here? Not yet. There you go. All right, chat. So I don't love this burner, so I'm going to change the burner, chat. I hope you don't mind. We're going to go over here. We we'll get it super hot because it's really important to get that initial sear. What that does is it does a couple things. One, it kind of Literally, you're literally searing it. You're burning it, right? And it's keeping all the juices in there. So we want a really good sear. Oh, baby, says Jamie. We got the roll. Thank you, Katrina. Thank you, Logan. Who's ready for some Warzone after this? I know you are, Katrina. Big <laughs> Warzone fan. All right, so Val is tweaking. You can show the camera what, it's supposed to, what we kind of want it to look like. Can you see it from there? I don't know. Yeah, it looks great. It looks great, doesn't it, chat? Who doesn't like steak? All right, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 
over here and put my flashlight on so you guys can get a little better look. So as you guys can see, we got some nice caramelization. I don't touch it. Don't touch your steaks. Okay? A lot of people, it doesn't matter if it's steak, if it's burgers, if it whatever it is, people love to just touch their, their steak. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Just let it sit. What you're looking for here is you're looking for the edges of the steak to start to sear and turn kind of that nice little caramelization color. Any questions so far, anybody? Any questions? I'll, I'll take a sip of that wine. I've, I've, I'm parched. <laughs> nice wine glasses. Thank you. Cheers to you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. What is everyone drinking tonight? I feel like that's, yeah, I was going to say, that's a little sweet for you. Um, what seasoning do you use, friend and test? Uh, just olive oil, salt, pepper. I like, I like really coarse pepper, so I'll show you the difference. So this is regular salt, right? And as you can see, it's very thin. Okay? This is the good stuff right here. It's uh, really nice sea salt. It's nice and thick. Ooh, we have a couple comments here. What's these, um, do you ever put a garlic on top of, um, on top to roast alongside? Uh, oh man, we're done. Uh, it just came up all the way, but again, that's my phone. Um, Jamie says cheers, or rosemary dash, uh, thyme, uh, thyme. Arnold Palmer spiked. <laughs> uh, and then we have Katrina with the wine glass. Katrina, oh, Katrina's drinking wine right, there right, you right go. now. Paul and says Bloomberg reports half Americans do not eat lamb. I can understand why, chat. I can understand why people why just don't. Why do you don't... say that? It, it, I mean, from my own experience. Well, I think I you'd be better to answer that. Yeah, so from my own experience, but again, like, I feel like I never had the right kind of lamb. And so I was really hesitant for a really long time to have it. But as I was uh, with Zach and, and, and his family, I mean, I've never had, like, lamb like I did at his house. And then ever since, I've just, like, I just have it whenever we go to a nice place. Um, and it was because it was so gamey. I just never liked that feeling or just the aftertaste was always really weird to me. But I don't like, I don't like any mint on it. I just have it as they cook it. I don't like any. All right, chat. While uh, we are letting our sear happen, all the magic is happening, we're going to take our green beans and we're going to dress them. Um, so Jimmy says that he's having a little vino. Also, Cali cab. Very nice. Um, I've had the chop wine before. Pretty good. I like it too. I know Zach doesn't that? like. Uh, that was Jimmy Brand. Okay, Jimmy. Um, I know that Zach just it, for him he doesn't like to taste like a lot of sweetness. So, but I do like it. That's I do like it. Um, Jimmy Brand, you played with Old Rosen last night. How was your experience playing with uh, the kid? <laughs> Jamie says uh, lo uh, lamb lollipop snack. Ooh. Yeah, girl. You know what? Uh, I was talking to somebody. I think John Gnome, who's in the chat, um, wanted me to do lamb, and we're talking about that specifically. All right. I am now. So you guys can get this at any grocery store, any food appliance store. So this is called a zester. Okay? And what this does is it takes uh, the rind, essentially, off of uh, any citrus. So lime, oranges, lemon. So... It packs a lot more flavor and, and uh, aromatics than people think. Yeah. So I'm gonna just I, make sure you wash it. Frozen was uh, disgusting last night. You should report yourself to the cops. <laughs> Thank you. Amy. I actually saw uh, a video of that game and I was pretty impressed myself. So we don't need a ton of uh, lemon zest. You want to show them? It looks really good. Yeah. Funny. You want to take a smell? How does it smell? Tell the chat. Mm. I love citrus as we. So as we talked last last week, so that is my jam right there. Okay, everybody, I'll interrupt you guys one second. We're starting to get that nice caramelization. We're gonna flip it here. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so Hannah goes. Nick Flynn hates lamb because he warmed too many of them at the farm. <laughs> oh That's fair. I would I wouldn't like it either. <laughs> okay, chat. I have that picture in my head now. By this the way. looks so good. Hold on a second. Take a look at this right here. Look at that char right there. Ooh, that is beautiful. Um, Paul says, have saffron Indian cuisine in Narwhal at 5.30 p.m. Um, 
now with my favorite stinky, stinky monkey single malt watching you. There you go. Very nice. So we got, uh, we got our lemon zest. We're going to throw in a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And uh, we're going to mix this up. And then I'm sure Val's going to want to put some lemon juice in here. Yeah. Ooh, smell that steak. Yeah. I do. It's very nice. Let's see what Mal is doing. She's probably just smelling the air. All right, chat. So, um... She's dead asleep. She's dead asleep. That's Smoky. how you know. Uh, all right, so when we're about we're about halfway through, so I told you not to mess around, but this is just for learning experiences. So I'm gonna take a peek here on the other side. So it's not done searing yet. That's okay. We're gonna keep the heat high. Uh, we like to go for a nice medium to medium rare. So you want to poke it a little bit. Everyone does it different ways. I like to do it this way. And what you're doing is you're poking your, uh, whatever you call this, your thumb fat. So your pinky here is, med is well done. Medium well, medium rare, medium, uh, sorry, uh, well done, medium well, medium, medium rare. And you're just poking right here. You're not pressing your thumb, just nice and relaxed. It'll do it on its own, and that's what you're using. So we want a really nice medium rare to medium. So it's going to press in a little bit, just like that. We're going to throw in a little bit of butter. We got it right here. And that's just gonna add a little bit of richness. Not a lot. So you guys can see me cutting. I'm gonna put maybe a teaspoon, uh, like a quarter tea, wow, quarter tablespoon on each side. Um, if you go back to Paul's um, message, I feel like um, Jimmy Brand would really appreciate um, Paul's choice of, 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 of scotch. I'm assuming that's scotch. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. All right, chap. Don't forget about our potatoes. They're looking delicious. Here they are, right here. Woo! This is beautiful. I'm going to put one right here. We're going to take a little taste test. All right, so as you can see, we can have our butter foaming here. That's adding the richness. So what I'd like to ask you to do is take a spoon like this. You're going to push your steaks to the top. And you're just going to base like you see in all the movies and all the shows, but it actually does help. People put a ton of butter here. So you're like, Zach, why is there so little butter in there? We don't need that much butter. Um, if you so go, yeah. what does the butter do? It adds some richness to it. Okay. It brings out like a nice rich flavor. So, I know what I like. I know what Val's like. Woo, that tastes good. It's going to need a little more time. We're going to try the potatoes right now. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's going to chat, take a look. <laughs> yeah. They're good. How are we doing, chat? Oh, my God. That's you guys sticking so with funny. me here? Good. Good? So I feel like they're, they're good. Would you want to push them up a little bit more? Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the oven off, chat. And I'm going to keep it in there. Right before we're done taking it out, I'm going to I'm going to broil it on high, and that's going to really crisp it up, give it some nice caramelization. Our steaks are almost done. Um, our nicely done green beans are here. I'm going to do a dash of oil. Take a look. I can taste it. You're probably going to want a little lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yeah, a little bit, and a little salt. You can season that to taste. Alright chat. Oh, sorry. Okay, you're good. I'm just gonna get it. Yeah, why don't you put it on the up here? I like the chunky salt too. I feel like you have to put less on. Alright, chat, so I'm pretty sure this is done. I know how I like it, I know how Val likes it. I'm gonna boil the potatoes right now. Start. Uh, now so here's a big thing. Because we're on live right now. I'm going to cut it just to show you guys how it looks. And basically, that's why anyone watches any steak video <laughs> right. is for the cut. Um, obviously, I would let it rest anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes, depending on how hot you like your steak. When you cut it immediately, it's going to release a lot of juices. You want to eat those juices. You don't want to let them go. So we're going to start with the strip. Beautifully caramelized. And I'll show you guys. That's a really good cr like crust. Yeah? All right, Chad. Like 
I'm going to show you on the main screen here. One second. point of this is we're going to see which one Val likes better. Because you don't, you don't know for sure. No. Right? No. And I do like a little bit of fat in mine. You do? Like crunchy fat. So here you go. Want you to take a bite? Chat. Who wants to try and taste this right now? <laughs> Bring one over. Look at steam. Nice crisp caramelization. I'm going to take a bite. No, it's, it's salted perfectly. Okay. Hold on. Mm. Hello. I'm using my hands, chat. It's my house. Yum. Gorgeous. Oh my god. So good. Okay. Now, hold on. We gotta cleanse the palate. Get a little wine. Teamwork says Katrina. Thank you everyone for tuning in. So, uh, I like the ribeye together because you can really get these unbelievable juices that you're getting from the steak. The, the New York strip, don't get me wrong, you can never go wrong with the New York strip. It's a very safe order. You're going to get it really nice. It's going to be thick. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be tender, not super chewy. You're not going to get a ton of fat. But the ribeye, you're going to get more fat. But the thing is, that's going to release so many more juices and flavors. So, it's going to be to die for Val, are we on the same page? Oh. <laughs> and I almost forgot, chat. Also, don't forget stuff when they're being broiled. Also, the chimichurri. Here is, is our. The most uh, amazing thing. Can you give me the spotlight again, real quick? Yeah. Because, chat, I want to show you these. These look so good. Oh, my lord. Look at that. So good. It's also, they look so crunchy. And it's so, when you guys do these right, it's gonna take like little mashed potato balls in your mouth. Um, you could finish that a couple different ways. Uh, Paul says thanks for this. Good night. If he sends 50 stars, thank you, Polly. Polly! Love having you here. Thank you, Paul. Um, <laughs> Katrina says great teamwork. I think you said that already. Um, I don't know. Who's gonna cook uh, steak next? And also, after great watching question. this, does it change your mind in terms of your choice at the yeah. beginning? I have a challenge for everybody. If you guys are craving steak after this, cook your steak this weekend, send a picture, send a video, whatever you want. We can do the Jordan Ramsey thing. Oh my God, that's so Where funny. people send him. Reaction, um, yeah, reaction. Yeah, exactly. I love that. If you guys want to send you guys cooking something and send it to me, I'll give my reaction. We can do it on TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Um, but if you're cooking steak, take a picture of it when it's done, send it into my, either to me, send it to the Rosen's Boneyard. It's going to be fun. 
Also, uh, I think we're good here. I think we're good. We're playing some Warzone in just a couple minutes. In the meantime, I got some stuff for you, Val. Any parting words? Um, no, I think it, I really love that we made the chimichurri. Uh, this is definitely something that will give your steak a ton of flavor. If you're ever in doubt whether, you know, you're not feeling super confident about your steak. Um, I know that I don't feel confident cooking a steak, so this is always my go-to because I know there's going to have a ton of flavor. Green bee's amazing. I mean, Zach did an awesome job. I'm not surprised, obviously, but. All right, guys. Um, nice to yeah. have you here. So. Yeah. That was a great session. Thank you so much. Busco in here, dude. You just missed it. Dude, show him the steak under okay. the second one. Just throw under the. Uh... I'm just going to grab it with my hands. Yeah, hold on. It's okay. Look at this, Busco. Look at that. Oh! Hold on a little like bit. The it's too far. The juices are like falling. Yeah, squeeze it a little bit. That's what they do in the videos. Hold on, hold on. There you oh, go. Oh, that's good steak. So good. All right, everybody. I will see you guys very shortly, okay?